All right, welcome back everyone to Sonic Adventure DX. So last time we did Sonic Story, and then I had my patrons vote on who they wanted to see next since we unlocked all the characters. And to the surprise of nobody, they chose everyone's favorite. It's the best friend. Uh. <laughs> Wait, you're skipping over me for this shit? No, funny thing, Tails was in the lead until the last minute. Ah, uh. they were neck and neck. <laughs> God damn it, Tails. <laughs> However, Big Story is pretty short, so if it ends up being too short, we can also do Tails today. Well, I guess we have no other option. You guys have really let us down. Also, God damn me. When he said I had my patrons vote, I thought you were going to say I had my period. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hi guys, how's it going? Okay, this is hilarious. There's just an upgrade <laughs> right underneath him. You can just see it. It's, and it's obvious that it's another fishing pole. <laughs> it's my special glow bed. It's like, well, why don't you just get that one since it's obviously the better one? I can't fit. Okay. So, I was trying to find the inter an interview where it was stated, but uh, I couldn't, despite my research, even though I only tried for like five minutes. Apparently, the reason why Big is in the game is because they wanted to give you, like, a character that you can just relax with, like, just like, if you thought the story and, like, the gameplay for Sonic Adventure was too crazy hype with all the other characters, this is a good character to chill out with, was the idea. That's dumb. I guess they didn't think that, hey, maybe people could just stop playing the game, but th this was clearly the better option. <laughs> Well, Froggy's new tail is just popping right off him. Big the Cat is voiced by the man who portrayed Duke Nukem. That's true. Yep. Mr. John St. John. Did he voice Big, like, in the four kids dub, too? No. Uh, All the four kids people were completely different. Because uh, they sound pretty similar, so I couldn't remember. But, well, I mean, it's not hard to do his voice, I'm guessing. But, uh, I believe the current voice actor for Big is actually Kyle Aver. Ah, Mr. Herbert. The actual voice of Manager Joe? Yeah, he, he went from Manager Joe to Big. It's, it was kind of a step down in his career. Actually, he went from Big to Manager Joe. So I guess he's on his way up. Oh, Kyle Aver is finally getting the break he deserves. I'm really shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Cronite in the chat says, It's weird how Sega has a lot of fishing games, yet managed to make the fishing in Sonic Adventure DX bad. Well, that's because I'm assuming Sonic Team themselves weren't the ones working on those fishing games. This is Sonic... This is Sonic Team's attempt. Does Big ever blink in this game, <laughs> implying that Big ever blinks, period? <laughs> Rogi ate my eyelids. <laughs> Do you know where they went? On the train? Got it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him walk. Hey! <laughs> well, you should, uh, Big, calm down. It's only something. What was that? <laughs> I don't understand your accent. Eggman! <laughs> we can't Quick. understand we have to find the your accent. The <laughs> Quick! We have to find the you know, Sonic, maybe if we don't stand in the middle of this palm tree, we can do something. <laughs> we can't. We're stuck by the traffic. It's like that one episode of Mike Jim Partners a Monkey. I feel like I'm going to meet a guy one day that's going to say that a lot. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Try fishing the door. Maybe it'll work. Fish for a shark. That'll kill him and end the game. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, he's he clearly does not have a partner because it's couples only, so he can't go. Can't go on the rides. My partner was Froggy. No, gone. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, cool, a power up in the sewer. Where I get my lunch? <laughs> I like. 
I like how to call it and come out and it's like, you got a new lure, you can use it to fish. It's like, it, yeah, it's a fucking lure, idiot, you know. How racist. Ah, <laughs> uh, you want to go to the bookstore? Don't you dare hop away from me. Kinda took you a little bit to process that. Big. I'm faster Wait, than the speed of sound. What you doing as long as it's a very long sound. <laughs> I'm trying to visualize that, but I can't. <laughs> he picks up the car and immediately goes in a hole. <laughs> Is there any other point in the game that you pick up heavy things? You pick up, like, small things, but not as heavy as a car. So, another little fact I know about Big, he is, in fact, 18 years old. He is, in fact, also very fat. Mm-hmm. It's a rough 18 years. <laughs> I know, right? Well, at least he's in the park. He managed to get in illegally, so, you know, says a lot about him. He gets stuck on every damn wall. Welcome Don't touch to me. Park. <laughs> he said to the door as it opened. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first mission. Alright. Go on fishing. <laughs> first mission, fishing. Second mission. Fishing. <laughs> Third mission. Motherfucking fishing. Take a guess. Uh, Alright, well, I hope you guys got your popcorn because we're gonna be thinking for a while. Fourth mission. Rhythm mini game. Wait. Can you imagine it was just all mini games for big? Oh, look at this bass. Got our first bite, and it is not proggy. Yeah, but we can eat it. Oh, dude, those gills. That fish is not healthy. <laughs> well, we can eat it, though. <laughs> CJ says, one of these days, Big the Cat is going to snap, and then we're all in for it. <laughs> He's going to pick up so many cars. Big puts forth... Oh, never mind. There he goes. I was gonna say he wasn't putting forth any effort to fucking fish. This fucking music... <laughs> the high energy of holding down X. <laughs> you gotta watch out for your tackle meter. I don't give a hoot. <laughs> that fucking fancy-ass jazz when you got one fish. Oh my god! <laughs> That monkey is out for blood. <laughs> this fucking head. <laughs> like, I really hope, like, I, I have my stream muted, but I really hope Biff, a uh, Biff, Big reacted with like an <laughs> oof right when that fucking robot <laughs> monkey clobbered him in the stomach. He didn't make any noise. He just dealt with it. It's me, Biff, from Back to the Future. <laughs> Go over here, you piece of shit. That All right. <laughs> You can do it. It can be done. Ah. Yeah, it really can be. Contrary to popular belief, it's not hard. I'm just hammering the X button. I'm not even holding it down. <laughs> I don't care. I know I'm going to have to spend the next five hours of my life doing this. There we go. <laughs> All right, level one. But you know, since he can jump in the fucking water, why can't he just grab the f the fucking frog? You know, because <laughs> that's unsanitary. He's got gloves. Like I would understand it more as like, Big the cat is afraid of water. It's like, all right, fine, that's stupid, but I'll take it. Oh God, can I do Twinkle Circuit as Big? <laughs> I can. Can we fish the racetrack? <laughs> he oh, has his fishing is... rod. <laughs> oh my god. Well, wouldn't that make it harder for him to... Wait, his eyes are far apart enough, so it doesn't matter. Wait, what sound does he make when he hits a boost? Nothing. He's useless. 
<laughs> in fact, he, he's actually asleep on the wheel right now. His stomach is just kind of pressing the pedals for him, and he just doesn't realize, nor is he awake. Oh no, he makes a noise. It's quite annoying. <laughs> I hear it. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. So I wonder, like, because I imagine, like, when they pitched these games, like, well, they, they didn't have to do much pitching because they were just like Sonic, but 3D, and they were like, you got it, it's our moneymaker. I, I would imagine, like, I want to hear the pitch meeting for, like, okay, so we have, you know, we have the Tails mode, we have the Knuckles mode, we have Amy, we have this cool new robot, but what about this fishing guy, right? And then they show the demo. Like, I want to know how that meeting went, where they were like, yeah, that, that, that's good. Yeah, dude, I, I don't know what the thought process behind Big the Cat was. It doesn't control well at all, yeah. <laughs> we, what if we just made something obnoxious? Whoa! Exactly. <laughs> what if it's just like, I love irritation so much. I love it. Print it. Now I'm going to go take a bath and poison ivy to celebrate. Oh, the irritation. <laughs> What's that other franchise? Knights in the whatever? Yeah, fucking make a sequel in like 10 years. I'm gonna go let a billion fleas into my home. Uh, call it lights in the daytime or some shit. I don't care. <laughs> lights and you're awake. <laughs> Wake up. Call it dead. <laughs> Why do you dream? I have no idea what we're talking about anymore. I don't dream. Look at this mode I made. It's called Big Fish. I got an emblem for it. Welcome to Pink Is Big related to Blaze? Hope not. Well, since she comes from another dimension, I'm gonna... And they are in similar color schemes. Oh god, glitchy cream again. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey, Cream, you're gonna team up with Big and Sonic Heroes. I think that's making her glitch more. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot Cream was in Sonic Heroes. Yeah, she was the flight character for Team Rose. I need to play that game again. Sonic, Sonic Heroes was pretty dope. It's... Like, I like it. I know some people don't, but uh, I will say that the one thing I wish they would tone down, if they ever made it to, they probably never will, is, uh, hey, maybe not have all these rooms where you have to kill all the robots or do these stupid boss fights where you have to kill all the robots. Yeah. I got stuck on a boss that was like that. I think it was one of Eggman's. <laughs> well, he said that as soon as he picked it up, so it's like... <laughs> As soon as he got on the train, he just fell asleep, woke up, and then he remembered. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I thought I was driving, but I guess not. I guess I have to fight Knuckles as big now. <laughs> well, you have a weapon, so you have a pretty big advantage right now. Colored stone somewhere? Hey. <laughs> and thus he smashes the ice stone on Knuckles' head. Hello, I'm waiting for Sonic. Oh, no. Oh no, you're not Sonic. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh no, that lake looks a lot smaller than it was when you were in it. Oh, is that where you fought fucking fish chaos? Yeah. That's... But remember how gigantic it was? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god, he is so slow. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this cave. The birth of Scrungamo. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Lazy Guy, no, we're not gonna do the Sonic 06 DLC, it's just a hard mode. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, I, I think playing the game already is already hard mode enough. Wait, they released DLC? You've discovered in quotes. They made you pay for it? When you are in yes. Water. They, you know, like, you could play through the other levels with the Amigos, a.k.a. Tails, Knuckles, Rouge, you know how fun it was to play them? Can you play as Blaze in all the levels? 
I'm assuming yes. Well, damn. It wasn't like, well, she died. They're like, no, no, canonically, we have to keep the story going. She dies, so. At least he climbs fast. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, oh, you think we don't have any Sonic and Big? Watch this shit. You know what we needed to do with Big? Platform. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> We're not doing any more fucking Sonic 06. <laughs> it's over. How about, uh, how about we, uh, we make, like, these... We, we allow Big to use his fishing rod so that way he can hook onto the icicles and swing around. That'd be cool. That's why it's not in the game. Yeah, that's why it's not in the game. Because it would be too good. Wait, hang on. Nope. Oh. <laughs> ah, he changes momentum in the middle. <laughs> I like how they give you this life belt. Like, yeah, you can float with it. And they were like, fuck it, here's a spring. Just get it to the top, asshole. <laughs> If I remember correctly, I think you need to pick up one of the rocks and break the ice or yeah, something? Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's big. He'll, he'll oh, think, oh. oh, he just pulled... All right. <laughs> I thought it just disappeared. <laughs> Wait, when he puts it down, it gets further from him? Oh, there we go. Yeah, shit. <laughs> there, there we go, I get... Th thank you for the Spring Sonic team, but also... Now, I do believe it's possible to drown. Oh, Christ. Wh Ribs. <laughs> the fuck are- we? oh! <laughs> <laughs> the lore power-up! This one allows you to ascend! Clang. <laughs> <laughs> bashes his head on the ice on the way back up. Oh, I think. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> uh, was it really just like the first ice pond that you started with? Is that where Froggy is? Because I don't see any fish here. <laughs> he keeps getting stuck in the bones because he's so... Big. Literally big. <laughs> Which is at the pond down there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he just broke his legs. He's fine. I can't get out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think it was literally where we loaded in. Oh, and a fish just spawned in. <laughs> I think that's a shark. Oh, Is it shark. glitching? I think. <laughs> that's like a big carp or something. Is he seriously not here? <sighs> Is it maybe this one? It seems almost random which button will actually pick up the rock. <laughs> I, I love think how it, it might be this one. Alright. There's just a hammerhead shark in here. <laughs> oh my god, a very small one. <laughs> and there's another shark. You know, I never thought I'd say this again, but where's the stupid frog? <laughs> You guys will never find me! I don't even know where I am! I thought I just saw some undersea corn stalks. I found Froggy. There and he I'm is. gonna drown. Relatable. Oh, wait, I think there's a tiny pocket of air there. <laughs> Somebody's gonna use that and be like, See, Sonic Team thought it through. You know what I just realized? Big does not look anything like a cat. He looks like a rabbit with a big old tail. He could pass for both. A 
cat room. Nah, I, I really don't... Uh, those ears are not indicative of cat. Source, I have a cat. Sonic Team wants you to believe Jacob also. <laughs> Hedgehogs aren't blue either. You know what? That's true. I think oh my that god. Big looks more like a cat than Sonic oh, looks fuck. like a hedgehog. So, Oh my god. Catch that. See what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? Where's that chompy bitch? Maybe they don't. Maybe you're too close, then you scared the fish. And or they don't want you to cheat. Cut back to big, and the entirety of his oh. bottom half's been bit off. There it is. I might. I must not have the right lure. You know what? I don't actually care. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know. If I was playing this as a kid, that fish would probably scare the shit out of me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks incredible when he's in the air. <laughs> <laughs> do you die if the line breaks? Uh, actually, yes, you do. You do, in fact, lose a life if the line breaks. This idiot didn't think to bring an extra roll? No. Or he, he can't re-reel his fishing rod? No, it's impossible. He also can't just grab Froggy. I can do that, and I'm an idiot! Well, I think the implication is that Big is a bigger idiot, literally, so... Bigger idiot than me? Maybe. <laughs> the line is the tide of Big's heart. <laughs> fucking finally, here he is. Alright, this is the right fucking way. Alright. Oh, there's Froggy, I didn't see him at first. Come on. Come on, Froggy. There we go. Froggy. This music is really inappropriate. <laughs> They're trying to bring some excitement is the idea. I consider myself a pretty patient person. I do like games like pool. I mean, I like fishing and stuff. So it's not like, oh, this is so boring. It's just, yeah, but why Sonic? Sega did do bass fishing, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good Sega fishing game. Yeah, I know Sega made a lot of fishing games, but... He's fucking oh, stuck, okay. No okay, <laughs> You know? I was gonna cut them some breaks, but after that, nah. Not too bad. What was I saying? Yeah, Sega, Sega does make, like, a lot of fishing games, but I'm assuming that they weren't developed by Sonic Team, because Sonic Team, well, they only work on Sonic. Sometimes. And Puyo Puyo Tetris. And that, and then they're also like, Billy Hatcher, Knights, what the f what the fuck is that? And then they pretend those franchises don't exist. Well, now that we got Froggy, why aren't the credits rolling? Isn't that the whole, like, plot? <laughs> Keeps losing him. I went the wrong way. Thanks to the camera. <laughs> but he could just staple the frog to himself, it won't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm really glad Big has momentum. Because if there's any character who needs to go slower up a hill. <laughs> Imagine they gave you like like an oxygen meter just went, but it only pops up for hills. Like it's not even when he's underwater, it's like, hang on, you, you need to <laughs> He needs to take a break. You! Oh, no. I remember the scene. You're little smart! Little Fix my legs! Well, now that I have this frog, I guess I can eat it. Oh. My. <laughs> God. <gasps> <laughs> Tails doesn't say a word, he's just glad watching. I found you. Uh, glad I found you. 
Oh god, you're better than Sonic. Listen, I have a frog. You wanna watch me eat it? Oh, no. <laughs> what am I, gonna I don't do? give a hoot. You know what you're gonna do? Turn around and get him! It's it's too far. You fucking clodhopper! J Jacob, there's no water. He can't fish the frog. But then, I couldn't have held on tighter if you didn't jump at me! Yeah, if you didn't try to... You know, you look like Godzilla approaching me, so I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I, I was just kinda... Alright, well I guess this is happening today. Oh no. <laughs> you know, Big, the frog with the other <laughs> I guess it's time to end it all. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> now look at for Big's house, cause oh yeah, right. The, they, he has an upgrade. The fuck. So the, oh, this is just normal, I guess. Yeah, this is just part. Some parts of the trees you can actually run on. This is my way home from school. <laughs> Jumping off a cliff. <laughs> Did he put his house near these hills on purpose? <laughs> Gotta get in my exercise. Oh, and just a random emblem out here. <laughs> Great. And an archaeologist who just walked through a branch? I do not. Uh, you see, archaeologists do not obey the same laws as everyone else. <laughs> well, I guess I better kill him with this bed. Uh... <laughs> you now have longer casting distance. Beds are an archaeologist's worst nightmare. I learned it from Jackie Chan. Personally. <laughs> come on, come on, pig. How'd you get stuck under your own bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Must be Tuesday. <laughs> I feel like somehow Sonic Team were more respectful to Big than we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's an idiot, but nobody mocks him for it, and here we are. <laughs> well, I mean... They still used the character a couple times. They clearly loved him more than anyone else did. I just keep thinking back to all those other Sonic characters people liked, you know, Mighty, Ray, uh, Vector. I mean, yeah, sure, the Chaotix came back in Sonic Heroes, but those other characters, you know... Uh, being the dynamite, uh... What's the, what's the fucking thing? Paul? The polar bear, they were like, no, 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 B big. The polar bear's name was Paul? I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it was Paul, I don't remember. Hang on, let me look that up. Pa? You stole my friend, I'm gonna steal your plane. I forget if it was Paul. I think I could straight up be wrong. Bark. Bark, right. See, he doesn't matter. That's why I got it wrong. Well, what was he in other than Sonic Fighters? Yeah, but still, they made a Sonic character. And then they go, how about Big? Froggy loves storage houses. <laughs> <laughs> he watches a lot of Rental Wars. What's that show called? It was not Rental Wars. <laughs> uh, storage Wars. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> rental Wars. <laughs> I want to rent this more than you. <laughs> The froggy did bounce off in this direction. I want to pay a fee to get it and then give it back. <laughs> no, I, we we need we need that goddamn coffee table. Laura's coming over. <laughs> Got a destruction. Omi says big actually monologues, and when he jumped at tails, he said, "I lunged at him like a jungle cat." <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess he technically is, because he lives in the jungle in a gazebo. You know, I don't think they ever specified what kind of cat he was. They were just like, fucking cat. What about Sonic? Fucking blue. You know, something I just realized. Could Sonic Gems Collection be one of the worst compilations ever? Because, like, it seems to have, like, all of the worst Sonic games. Like, Sonic R, Sonic Fighters. It's got Sonic CD, woo. But, like, it seems to have all the worst Sonic games. I think you're in the- I've never seen this chow garden in my life. Neither have I, I don't think I've ever been here. Hang on, let me look at that list, Sonic Gems Collection. Yeah, that had a bunch of, like, really crap Sonic games that people still kind of like anyway.
Well, let's see a lot. I'll, yeah, also would add Vector Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have Vector Man on cartridge. It's a really good game. Well, I wouldn't say it's one of the worst collections ever. It's more mediocre than anything. It's like, yeah, I could buy this, but why? Let me take a look here. What games has got? 98% of people like this game. I'm proud of them. <laughs> I'm proud of the 98. Let's see. Oh, my tail. For the fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> I forget where are we supposed to go. <laughs> I forget too. Sonic. That robot. I better go after Amy. Me. <laughs> oh no, Amy's gone. Oh my god. It literally just has Sonic CD, Sonic Fighter, Sonic R, and then a bunch of Game Gear games. That's pretty rough. Well, Sonic CD's good. <laughs> a little bit. But you can also get that on Steam now. <laughs> so, exactly. Just separate from everything else. Oh, you know what you can't get on Steam? Oh, Sonic R. Is, is it actually on Steam? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, I think I've said this before. Sonic R is like the worst game I've ever had fun with. <laughs> Sounds accurate. Hey, can, can you feel <laughs> the sunshine, Jacob? I can. <laughs> I did. And I will. <laughs> well, I think it's time to go to the beach. It's about time. Over to catch a whale. This is the only time you hear this track, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, they also thought Big was good enough to get his own track, so... He's got multiples of his own track. <laughs> do you think they... Do you think they were, like, hoping this would, like, really catch on and he would get, like, his own spin-off games? Oh, there he is. Big's Flight Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sky Police! <laughs> <laughs> now he's taking my fucking games! I only had, like, two, are you kidding me? I mean, I guess I have more games than Knuckles. So... Get your ass over here, Froggy. Get your froggy ass over here. All right, time to reel it in. <laughs> I think I'm getting shot with bombs. Yep, I'm getting blown up with bombs, and I don't care. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, Big tends to explode when he's fishing. He just doesn't care. I'm better than Ahab. <laughs> you know, I wish they got, like, the, the voiceover guy from Crazy Taxi to spice this up a little. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Pick the cat into crazy fishing! You're gonna eat that frog and die! Get that crazy froggy out, you ready? <laughs> We're for the band limousine! Alright, we just gave it to you! <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Good enough! Not too bad. That's what the G E and Gem stands for. Limousine god, I remember that from the emails. <laughs> <laughs> And their lead singer wears glasses! And now you're Robot Jack, you frog! Uh -oh. <laughs> Thanks, Gamma. Jesus. No, hold on there. Come back, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I must take off. <laughs> this is the most jittery, awkward cutscene in the game. <laughs> I'm begging you. Oh, also. <laughs> it must be a frog. What would you think if you played this mission? You played this mission first. I know you can't, but what if you did? What is going on? You could stop Sonic's story early enough, maybe. Yeah, if you unlock big, you could be like, I need to take a break. I need to relax in Sonic for a little while. <laughs> I feel like doing some fishing. These highway hijinks just aren't enough for me. First of all, fishing is not fucking relaxing. It's relaxing when you're sitting there waiting for a fish, but as soon as you get something on the on the line, you're like, Oh god! I gotta get it! <laughs> you, you panic and you're like, Please, oh please, oh please, oh please! Especially if you're like a professional fisherman, 
who like tries to get like fucking big ass catches and spends literally like hours fighting a single fish. Like that's not relaxing. And that's what you do. Listen, Big the Cat is is much harder than most fishermen. Harder as in badass? Or yes. Oh yeah, this is perfect music for fishing. <laughs> this is fishing music on the History Channel. <laughs> God, I can even imagine. <laughs> yeah. It all started with a fishing tackle. What is this at the bottom there? They have footage of a man falling into a lake. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing can be pretty goofy, too. Also, I don't know what that stovepipe thing was at the bottom of the... <laughs> <laughs> I detect you through glass. <laughs> I know you're there. I sense your sensory organs. I sense your betrayal. <laughs> you know, does any other character have an in-level cutscene? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sonic had that one where, like, he got hit with the avalanche. Or, like, he turned around and it was like, ah! It's, it didn't have, like, the HUD or anything, like, it still had, like, the level counter, and it was, like, a split second. You're right. This was, like, it stopped, it went cinematic, it had a dialogue box. Like, they were like, he doesn't have enough cutscenes, what do we do? Well, I think we still have two cents in the budget. Beep, beep, beep. wonder how much of this is gonna get picked up on the mic. Oh, no, you don't. Seems to depend on which direction I'm tugging that he pauses sometimes. <laughs> Froggy! Da -da -da -da, Froggy! <laughs> <laughs> It's time to froggy. It's oh, froggy. F R G G Y. <laughs> He's gonna fall off yeah. into the water, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> wow, I love how I spelled froggy wrong. <laughs> it's like F R G G Y. <laughs> he wouldn't know how to spell froggy. It's okay. Frogalicious definitions. Oh, I like how he still has the shield in the cutscene. Right. <laughs> Protect me from learning. <laughs> All right, now the history well, channel's yeah. gonna get real because we actually take you there. Wow. Do I get a power up in the past? And can I just leave? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I just leave. <laughs> the past just has a door for you to exit. Like, I've had enough. This guy was like, wait, where are you going? You need to learn. I had the shield, it's okay. I don't know why you talk like that, bro. I can't under- I can't understand your accent. <laughs> <laughs> ah, crotch. Also, fun fact, I just realized, uh, yeah. Sonic R was developed by Traveler's Tales, who yeah, also developed really Crash Bandicoot it. The Wrath of Cortex. So at least they got better. Was that game any good? I mean, it's one of the less lesser popular mainstream Crash Bandicoot games, but I like it. Because I know in Crash Twin Sanity, they make a joke about it, where it's like, where Neo Cortex is like, look, I know Wrath of Cor I, I know Wrath of Cortex didn't sell that many copies. But <laughs> well, it didn't sell well, apparently, but uh, it, it was it was a fine game. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like Crash of the Titans or something. Mind over mutant. Nobody even cared about that the game. <laughs> The seven chaos emeralds unified. What if we try fishing the master the emerald? <gasps> it's not a GameCube controller. <laughs> but we could fish chaos out. Wouldn't it just stop the plot or whatever? Could this be the emerald that controls the seven
and chaos? Why do I care? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, what the zoom in was about. I don't, in fact. Well, Dang, you're choking me! I don't like the looks of this place. I do wonder why Takal thought it was appropriate. Like, let me bring this guy to the past. He needs to <laughs> learn. If something happens he has now, no point to any no of this. He's just the schmuck who accidentally ends up here. Hey, you fucking schmuck. Schmuck the cat. <laughs> He's got a pretty mook quality to him. Emergency alert has been cancelled. Resuming monorail operations. Use the monorail to get out of the ship. Can you imagine that if you touch the little... <laughs> the little hint balls, like, to call just takes you to the past again? <laughs> Clearly you didn't understand. <laughs> Alright, from the goddamn top. <laughs> First time using a monorail, hope you were impressed. The servers are the seven chaos. I'm gonna steal a plane. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, we gotta do our favorite first. We <laughs> sideways always. Why? <laughs> All right, big. We need you to put on these boxing gloves. I'm gonna pop him. So, I see you're trying to escape. I'm right on Big the Cat's the secret fucking yeah, boss of Punch Out Wii 2. I would be upset. Would you? A little bit, because I'm like, wow, you could have picked literally anybody. <laughs> but would you? Like, in high. In like, this, at this moment, you would be upset if, like, they announced it. But what if you're playing the game? You reach the secret final boss, and it's big the fucking cat. Don't tell me you wouldn't be laughing your ass off. I'd be laughing, but then I thought, wow, and they skipped the Peach cameo for this? Oh yeah, Peach was gonna be in the game, wasn't she? Uh-huh. All right, and now I remember reading a comment that's like, oh, why did they remove the, the Peach thing? Well, it's, pro well, it's probably tail. because in Punch-Out! Wii, you know how when you punch the shit out of them, they get, like, bruises on their face. Yeah, it wouldn't translate well, that's why. No, no one wants to see Peach like that. Make it Bowser. Bowser would have been cool. <laughs> they were, uh, so they went with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's the most appropriate, but even still, like, Bowser. I still like the idea of Peach being, like, ripped to shit, and she just punches the crap. <laughs> She's the hardest character, the hardest character to fight. Unbelievable! <laughs> Look what happened. I'm here too. Where did I get here? Huh? <laughs> the fuck are you? This is my story. <laughs> what are you doing in Big Adventure DX? Are you, you trying to fucking worry, step Barry. to me? So he's your friend, eh? <laughs> That's all I know to do. No sweat. Step to step. I'll get him back. <laughs> Watch me. I just have to do it faster. I'm like, step, 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 step. <laughs> Sonic just slowly gets Careful, eaten. Froggy. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get you back. Alright, so now for the boss fight. Oh, I kind of like that a skeleton actually cradles the Chaos Emeralds. That's it? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's the whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I forgot that, let me tell you. <laughs> no, I remember it. <laughs> Big gets the frog and he's like, mission accomplished as the egg carrier starts to explode. <laughs> Well, 
<laughs> Hang on, there's one last thing what? Big needs to do. Ah, we're not done. <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> Grand Theft Ariel. He's just literally gonna steal Dale's plane. That's why you put in a landing gear, Tails. It is if you switch it to fucking regular mode. <laughs> Man, those those explosions clearly don't belong there. Just because he went fishing, the thing is gonna crash. How dare you, Big. <laughs> you big doofus. I remember liking Big's theme, but finding it kind of weird. Oh, it is weird. <laughs> I think the singer for Big's theme song does the same vocals for Sonic's theme, and I believe Open Your Heart. Sounds like the same guy, yeah. That fucking opening guitar part sounded like some kind of booping ass Tom Morello solo or something. <laughs> <laughs> Rage against the machine. Well, the lyrics make it sound like Froggy is singing to Big about how great their life is. Oh, so that's an amazing screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed Big's story. Not even 50 minutes. I don't think I'll even need to separate that into two parts. <laughs> well, we, we know for a fact that it rocked. So, uh, what was your favorite part of Big Story? Uh, this part right here. <laughs> when it was over. Oh, where he's drowning, when he was drowning in the sewer and missing an eye? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the credits, but I like that answer better. Oh, boy. I wish other game designers followed Sonic Team's logic. They were like, alright, we have all these playable characters, but what if we had one that did something that had nothing to do with the game? I mean, if the logic was, what if we saw someone who wasn't involved, like, their perspective on it? But it's not that. It's just a guy who accidentally ends up involved while having no involvement. <laughs> he just shows up and he's like, yeah, that's pretty weird. Anyway. <laughs> Time to go dance on these ruins. <laughs> he also didn't meet Amy, so... No. He, inter he managed to kind of interact with all the other characters. <laughs> Quote unquote chaos. <laughs> the chaos programmer, he says. But we don't believe it. That just means what every program never worked. <laughs> <laughs> like, god damn it, Jim! You just keep. You, we have to code around every. Why is there a cat that fishes? What is this? Thank you for the super chat, Gregory House. Sonic Adventure, big, spectacularly important journey. Uh, X25 says the rumor is that they wanted to make this game compatible with some fishing controller that they had, but it turns out that the controller is incompatible anyway. Well, that sounds like Sega, yeah. Can you imagine if that had been implemented, though? This would be even worse. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine if it was implemented and it was the only way you could play it? The entire game, not just Big's part. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine doing <laughs> Sonic's levels with a fishing rod? <laughs> like, you have to constantly keep cranking the things so that way he can run. Okay, Im imagine this scenario, though. Let's back up to, like, let's say that Big's part is compatible with the fishing rod. And, like, you had to play it that way. So it was bundled with it. So you get this box for Sonic Adventure that's, like, three times the size of a Dreamcast box. And it comes with this fishing gear. And you're some kid before, like, the internet was big. So you don't know why this is here. So you open the box and you're like, why is this fishing rod here for a Sonic game? What is going on? It'll be in the manual. It'll say the cool fishing rod, which is extreme and dope, will <laughs> will be awesome. Will will total will level two in your games. They make up a word that nobody even says in the night. Well, they said it's extreme and dope. 
No, there's really no defending Big Story. Like, I thought it maybe it wouldn't be nearly as bad at most boring, but no, it's it's impressive how badly it controls, too. <laughs> it's impressive how meaningless it all is. Well, at least you did it. Like, walking is an effort. That's bad game design. <laughs> oh, walking is a trial in itself. The mom comes into the kids' room and is like, Honey, are you having a dope time, as you, as you kids say, with your fishing rod? No, I'm not. It's your only gift, so dope it up, son. And then she leaves. Froggy, you're my cat. <laughs> you're my cat, and I'm your frog. <laughs> Eats <it. laughs> Eats. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's the only logical thing for him to do. Oh, boy.